You did a piece on this. It was originally a Twitter thread that you put out called 20 Things That I've Learned About Humanity During the Pandemic. Now, this went insanely, insanely <laughs> viral because I think you distilled down larger ideas of what people were seeing and witnessing and in, into these sort of bite-sized thoughts. And Daily Wire has now published this as an article and you've gone more in depth about these 20 things. Mm. I want to get through as many of these as possible and get through a, uh, you know, okay, an in-depth discussion about it. All right, let's do let's it. get your, your hot takes here. Number one, one, most people would rather be in the majority than be right. Mm -hmm. And I think we, we, we've seen that now, uh, regardless of facts, of statistics, of analytics that are put in front of somebody's face, they'd rather support what everybody is supporting mm -hmm. than to go against the grain and actually do something that is right and do something that is just. Mm. It's a lot easier to do. It's a lot easier. We're social beings. I mean, anytime you enter a situation where you are, you know, especially when it comes to opinions, you know, you're, you're the person with a dissenting viewpoint mm -hmm. or you're in the minority it can it can be uncomfortable it can be uncomfortable to use a simple a simple one right if someone uh if there's a room of a hundred people right and everyone's wearing masks and you walk in there without one even if you're like as bold as me and is happy to do that you still feel a pressure yep. to conform similarly if there's a room full of a hundred people and they don't have a mask on like, this could be anything this could be everyone's wearing white and you walk in wearing red mm -hmm. you feel like oh like, am I, you, you feel awkward, you feel weird. Right. And that's just human nature. So it's not inherently a bad thing. There's many times where doing what most people do is the correct and proper thing to do. But my point there is that just because it's a majority position or a majority opinion doesn't in itself mm -hmm. mean that it's right. It doesn't mean, you know, the majority, the majority is not always wrong, no. but the majority is not always right either. So. It's just encouraging people to think individually and to have that boldness or courage to question things or to, to challenge orthodoxy when necessary. And it's amazing how how easily we've lost that that sentiment. And I always I always try to take it back to the founding fathers. <laughs> they they wrote a lot and very in depth about the difference between a majority and minority, and how regardless of what a majority is doing, there should always be space for the minority and their their concerns, their opinions, their facts should be taken just as seriously. And now we don't do that anymore. Mm. It seems like we've we've been uh, conditioned to believe that if the majority is saying something, well, then that must be right. Yeah, and sometimes it's simply an illusion of a majority. Right. Because sometimes it's actually a minority, and they're, they're made to seem much bigger than they are, right? right. Um, they want you to believe that the majority of people think that there are, I don't know, infinite genders, right? Or that a man can just magically transform into a woman and vice versa. That's not a majority position. No, it is not. No, but it's made to look like one. Yep. It's the mainstream position without being a majority position, which is even more bizarre. But... This is, this is what goes on. It happens a lot on social media. You can make 1% of the population look like 50%, especially with the magic of technology. It's very true, and it's it's demoralizing because you go and you're just inundated with the same opinion over and over and over. And I try to tell people, a lot of conservatives reach out. I'm sure they reach out to you too and say, you know, I'm too scared. I'm mm -hmm. too scared. I don't want to do it. I mm -hmm. know this huge mob is going to gonna come after me mm. and if you stop looking at the micro and you look macro it's really not that large of a mob no. they are just extremely loud and extremely aggressive and extremely assertive and if we were the same mm -hmm. but with proper right and just values uh, the world would be so much better mm -hmm. but they but they instill fear in people yes conservatives and sane liberals need to be more vocal yes they need to be more courageous absolutely and right I, I don't just mean uh in the in the pure political sense i'm talking more in the social and the cultural sense. Mm -hmm. Because the reason why people think, the reason why things keep shifting in a bad direction and you know, people are complaining about it and whining about it, but at the same time, they ref also refuse to speak up. And as I've said, you know, in the face of, in the face of madness, in the face of evil, in the face of true injustice, whatever, you, you have to speak up, you right? Do. Because it's easy for a, a, a loud, aggressive minority to, to cow a sane majority and we can't allow that to continue happening it's been happening for many many years and people need to stop that and i hope that with a lot of what i do and with the words i say i can encourage other people to be a bit more bold i'm not even mm -hmm. saying not everyone needs to go full zuby but like <laughs> you know 10 percent, 20 percent, right in your workplace at your college at your school you know at your wherever you are within your family within your friendship group you know be, look, people with the most ridiculous ideas in the world are very are feeling very emboldened to voice their ideas. Yes, they are. Right? I see these crazy TikTok videos coming out of like these bizarre looking people making all their 
and they're and they're speaking all confidently and what i was like man if i had that view i'd be ashamed to voice that publicly <laughs> yeah. right so why is it the people who are sane and who are reasonable are absolutely terrified right if someone can jump on this some 20 year old can jump on tiktok and be like talking about how they're like a demigender two-spirit <laughs> unicorn who yeah. is like sapiosexual yeah and they feel like confident and bold to say that you should feel confident to go you know what i like trump you know what? Yep. I voted for Brexit. Right. You know what? I like the family. You know what? I believe in like Jesus Christ. You know what? This is my view. That's my view. You know what? I'm pro-life. But people are afraid to do any of that. Yep. And people need to stop being so afraid. And there's no point having a silent majority if it's a silenced majority.